We are at Bongusa. Uh, we just left the Starfield Coex Mall. And we were there to go check out the library, which is insane. Like, it's so cool. The amount of tourists to this area right now, though, is crazy. There's like this huge Thai business tour group that's here at this temple. But in a way, that kind of makes sense, right? Like Thai people come into a temple. We're gonna check this out, walk around a little bit. Uh, Starfield Coex is actually just right across the street. So it's not hard to just walk over this temple. I just suggested it last minute. We've already checked out of our hotel and we just left our bags there, including all the cameras. I do have the GoPro type thing, the Insta360. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna check out this a little bit more and then we'll uh, We'll uh, check back in a moment. All right, and welcome back. It's been actually a couple days since I've been back now. I've actually unpacked everything. But the last time I checked in, I was at Bongusa in Seoul. And right after that, we got our revenge trip to UFO Burger, where we were actually able to get a set meal for her, the four of us and everybody got their burgers overall it was great i really enjoyed mine i got the american cheese and jalapeno set and that was delicious after that it was kind of a mad dash to the airport with the exception of if we got to the airport a little bit sooner we would have been able to store our luggage at the airport but we got there at this awkward time where the counter was just about to open for us to just check in for our flight. And although we were already checked in, I checked in the night before, we had to figure out, do we want to wait a half an hour and pay for like two hours of storage or uh, and not pay for two hours of storage? Or do we just pay for two hours of storage, and go into Incheon. Now, here's the thing. Incheon is about an hour away from the actual airport, like what you want to see in Incheon. And although, really in my mind, only had one item that I wanted everybody to see, which was Chinatown, and the original place where Jajangmyeon was created, maybe the museum, it takes an hour to get there, like I said. You're probably going to be spending at least an hour to two hours in the area, and then it takes an hour back. So it's pretty much like at least a four hour trip. Now, the trade-off is, is that our flight was at like eight o'clock, 7.45ish, eight o'clock. And we were there at about 4.50ish. They're opening at five, I believe. And so it's one of those things where I didn't know if we had enough time or not to actually make it. And if we did, we'd be pretty rushed. So what we ended up doing was abandoning that plan and just staying at the airport. By that logic, I kind of just wish we stayed in Seoul just a little bit longer. And that way we would have been able to do at least one more thing in Seoul. But it is what it is. And now that I have that knowledge, it's like, okay, I know what to expect. Also, the train into Incheon took a little bit longer than I thought it was going to. I guess we got on the wrong train, but that's neither here nor there. After we got to the airport, checked in, went through security, we sat down for probably our worst meal in Korea. And the Chachangmyeon was okay. I feel that everybody else is being a little overly harsh on it. But the sweet and sour pork was horrible. Straight like, don't know what they were using for their meat product, but it was bad. Like it was really hard. It felt like plastic. And even though it was fried pork, it like, it was just, it didn't taste good. Like, it was weird. That being said, we had our meal. We then uh, went into our gated area, started walking around. And by the time we were kind of all said and done and getting ready, it was time to board. We didn't even really have a chance to say goodbye to Chris because he was on a different flight. He was taking a direct flight, whereas we were, we were via Taiwan. So his flight was an hour after us, but his flight was also going to land three hours before us. We ran to the gate. Ben was uh, 
kind of freaking out because he's like, they're doing last call. And which I was surprised because our boarding time was like at that moment we were making our way to the gate and like boarding it was our boarding time ben was going to get like some food from one of the convenience stores and he's he comes running back going hey it's it's our final boarding call final boarding call and i'm like okay that's weird they're doing final boarding call before the t like actual boarding time but it is what it is the flight wasn't too busy or too packed and it was just an easy flight from Seoul to uh, or Incheon rather to to Taipei and once we landed in Taipei it was the same situation it was somewhat nostalgic for me we landed at about gosh I want to say it was about nine o'clock maybe a little earlier like 8 30 something like that and by the time we got through so when you land in Taipei at least every time I've landed in Taipei you have to go through a second security feature where they don't care about liquids at least they let me go through bottles with bottles of water twice now. But it's just like they make you go through another security thing to get to the next terminal for your next flight. And it happened both while we were going to Korea and when we were coming back to America. So it wasn't like it was an American thing and it wasn't like it was a Korean thing. It also happened to us when we went to Thailand, uh, what, like 12 years ago, Lynn and I. So I do have that like very specifically in my memory. I was like, okay, we're gonna have to go through security. The other thing that was like very clear in my mind and that kind of like just bugged me was the fact that we had to wait when everything was closed. Maybe it's a common practice now. Like I think San Francisco closes pretty early too. But from my last trip at Haneda and then this trip to Taiwan or Taipei, Everything was closed and it was like, it was 9.45 and all the shutters were down. And clearly there were still tons of people. I don't understand what those hours are. They should at least open until 11 o'clock. Or look at the schedule of the, like the flights that day and go to when the last maybe three or four flights come in. So if there's three or four flights transferring through, that's quite a few people. That's anywhere from like 75 people per flight to per I mean, if it's a large plane, they could fit, what, like 300 people on it? So, that's a lot of folks coming through the airport. But, I mean, it, it is what it is, and everything was closed. We were able to, to, to get through just fine, and we sat down. Oh, and our gate was closed at the airport. So, you weren't actually allowed to go to your gated area. You had to wait. And it was kind of weird, because everybody was just waiting out in the hall where, like, the the moving walkways were and everything. And so, I don't know, there, there's a lot of refurbishment or, or construction that was going on through this entire trip is one thing I noticed. It is what it is, and the flight home was extremely bumpy. Uh, ben got sick, like nauseous, he wasn't feeling well. And that was a, like a very interesting, like I noticed about maybe, not even a third of the way, maybe like 20% of the way through the trip, Ben, started like just looking really bad we weren't seated together per se but i was on an aisle seat lynn was on a, mi a middle seat and ben was on not the aisle seat next to lynn but the one next to that aisle seat and so i had a very clear view of him and he stopped eating he stopped drinking the turbulence on that flight was extreme and our flight pattern you know how it's like typically that smooth like arch Ours actually did more like a McDonald's type shape and like the, the arches, golden arches. And it was pretty crazy to see like on the, the map how far out that they were trying to move because the turbulence got really, really bad. Other than that, the flight was fine. The food was okay. Nothing really to write home about, but we landed, got picked up, and now I'm here. And that's really the end of our Korea trip, so... Until the next trip, we'll see you in the next video.